It's the it's rock. The con box. Oh my gosh, we didn't even go yeah, to rock con. How'd this get here? Oh my gosh. We can interview these guys. Yeah, I know. Okay. We have to open this. Right. Oh. What? This isn't even. This is a rip off. How did you have to review them, anyways? Okay, so this is Japanese Wheeljack from Armada. Okay, so he has a Minicon. Here's one of his special features. You take the Minicon, there's a little peg right there, right there, and a little slot right there. And you put the peg in the slot. If you push, this will fly up, like this. And, um,. You can fire the missiles by pressing this or whatever, but I'm not going to fire them because I don't really want to lose them. But, um, okay, you take that off. Save that for later. Um, okay, so first you want to pull. Wait, wait, sorry. Wait, one second. You want to get these up. Then you want to separate that like that. Pull these apart. Kind of. Lock the knee into place. Do the same with this one. Just kind of bend until they lock. There's this part. And also, you'll want to fold the feet down. The feet are just stored right there. You want to pull, pull that up. Oh, and the front feet too. They're just stored right here. Same with this one. There's his legs. Okay, so for his arms, you'll want to. These are pegged in, so you want to take the arm, flip it, pull that out. Take the other arm and flip, pull that out, flip it up, uh, and then pull that up, pull the torso up, flip that around. There's a little s hole right here, right there, and you'll want to take that, and then there's a peg right here. You want to take the hole, put it into the peg like so, flip the arms and get them in a whatever position you want to, pull this down, and there he is, uh, wheel jack, so, and, um, some things he can do are, you can shoot the missiles, or like, if you want to, he can, these are the missiles, you can use these, even as swords if you want, he's able to do that, which is pretty cool, pretty cool gimmick that and the little sword. Hiya! Ha! Okay, so and now for his mini con. This guy is really cool. Um you go okay, so sorry. Okay, so you take these will end up being the legs, so take those, flip those down like this, and take the arms, flip those up Flip that, push that in, turn the legs around, like that, and then kind of just get them in a good position, kind of flip these down, Wait. sorry, oh, poop. And then, here he is. Right here. There. There he is. Mini con. Okay, so here's my friend Pierce. Okay. Oh. Now, this is no BotCon, Spark, or Street Star, or whatever. So, we're just going to have to go with today Japanese uh, Pepsi. Optimus oh, Prime. Yeah, that's right. See, Pepsi logos. His body looks like a Pepsi. He's got Pepsi logos even on his knees. Yeah. He so, almost wanted to drink them. Yeah. One of the best sets So he has a trailer. That's cool. And it even comes with a little Pepsi twist kind of cardboard little thingy. See, it's hollow. Yep. See. Glug 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 glug. So, and his trailer can transform a little bit too. He has a gun that can snap onto the bottom. It's right 
here into that little hole. Snap on. It's pretty much the only place. And if he's rolling around, he kind of has this. But if he's in one place, then he'll flip these up. So that his trailer doesn't roll away and he loses all his Pepsi. Because that would not be good. No one wants to lose like 20 gallons of Pepsi. Yeah. So, transformation. He is the exact same as G1, Optimus Prime, Ultra Magnus, all those other guys. But he's cooler because he has Pepsi logo. So, what you're going to do is if you remember our first webisode of Ultra Magnus, it's the exact same, transforming him into a standard robot mode. Your first take out his arms, fold him out, then you're going to push, pull down the legs, and they will come apart a little bit, more than in vehicle mode, flip up the feet, like that, see he used nice Pepsi logos on his feet, then you're going to pull back the arms, to give him a little space to flip, flip him, then you're going to flip the arms forward, see he even has Pepsi logo on his shoulder, I mean gosh! It's like awesome. He has a little rub sticker, heat centered, majigger. Okay, then you flip his chest down, take out the little hands that look like this. Wee, I'm a little hand. Got a big peg holding me. Okay, and you push up the chest, and you put this hand, the left hand, in the left hand socket, like this. Oh, left hand. And yes, you guessed it. The right hand in the right hand socket. Well, I thought the right hand wanted the left hand. Yeah, right. I, I know. That's that's why I thought, too. It's like really confusing. I'm not even kidding. But then I looked at the instructions, and they, yeah. they came up with that weird thing. Okay. But also, I had trouble with the instructions because they are written in Japanese. Yeah, they don't even have... I had to take a whole Japanese class just Okay, to now, he has a gun somewhere. Here it is. His gun, like this, it looks pretty similar to the G1 version, and it hooks in right into his hand. And now, are you ready for this? The head. Yes, the head. 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 There's the head. It's pretty awesome. He's even got Pepsi logos on his little ear things. There he is. The back of him. Oh, I'm going to shoot the poop out of you. What? All right, and here is G. I don't know. Pepsi Optimus Prime. Thank uh -huh. you for watching. Bye. Bye.